good afternoon everyone uh, so today is second day of uh, season 2 presentation so uh, on occasion of this uh, uh, day i am going to present my presentation on the dangers of dangers of surveillance in the context of novel 1994 so let's start with the presentation here is my personal information points to ponder introduction of author introduction of novel uh, the danger of surveillance after that big uh, brother is watching scandal of pegasus and technologies in 1984 introduction of author as we all know that the famous author george orwell a uh, pseudonym name of eric arthur blair he was very famous author and novelist uh, his last book 1984 a novel he wrote as a warning after years of brooding on the twine uh, menis of nazi uh, nazism and the stalinism the novel is set in an imaginary future in which the world is dominated by the three perpetually war uh, warring a totalitarian police state so here in the slide you can see the information about the author after that introduction of the novel uh, orwell wrote 1984 as a warning after years of as i also mentioned earlier uh, it was published and on 8 june 1949 by seker and worker as orwell's ninth and final book uh, completed in his lifetime so uh, this book is a, a last book of george orwell uh, orwell a democratic socialist modeled and the author uh, authoritarian state in the novel on a stainless russian and nazi germany so this is information about the novel now let's start with the point the uh, dangers of surveillance according to michael yu surveillance is a pervasive in the novel instances of surveillance is divided into two main kinds panopticical and the uh, substitutional so panopticical surveillance is the interest uh, self, self surveillance so this term is uh, uh, used as the self surveillance and uh, another term uh, sur uh, surreptitial uh, uh, surveillance work on the opposite belief like believing that one is in the private space so this both are uh, one is used for self uh, surveillance and another is used for uh, private space according to uh, michael you know the same uh, critic surveillance in 1984 is expressed in the following passage so this uh, passage is from the original text there was of course no way of knowing whether you were being watched at any given moment you had to leave did la leave from habit that become instinct in the assumption that every sound you made was overhead and except in darkness every movement scrutinized so this is also a passage from the george orwell's novel 1984 in this assumption winston self censored and plays for the camera pretending to believe that think uh, what he is supposed to and hiding his truth thoughts and beliefs so uh, this passage is came when this uh, winston our protagonist uh, he wrote with a uh, diary uh, when uh, he pretending to uh, not coming into the cameras and television this continues like uh, according to nail m richards we know the the government have been buying and borrowing private sector databases as we all know that now governments are uh, uh, linked the app uh, aadhar card with the every uh, single things like uh, uh, you have to link your aadhar card with your account number etc we know that uh, so uh, as we as he said that governments have been buying and borrowing private sectors database and we recently learned that the national security agency nsa has been building a massive data and super computing centralin utah so apparently with the goal of inter 
intercepting and storing much of the world's internet communications for descripting and uh, analysis so this is uh, 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 like a government is uh, uh, analysis is the uh, he, uh, government buying the database from the private sectors uh, as uh, uh, the nsa saying uh, communication and bank records sought under the ecpa and the rfpa are protected by the additional requirement that the fbi certainly that such as a investigation of us person is not conduct solely so uh, as we know that government uh, has this uh, pri uh, like privacy of the person like they have this database and they uh, they says that we have the privacy and we will not declare your private information to others so this is the things like uh, here in picture you also can see that uh, from everywhere you are watching like big brother is watching in 1984 like uh, from tv from mobile from laptop everything are watching you so this is the uh, surveillance is uh, also this uh, nailam research uh, say big brother is watching so now i want to compare this big brother with the big boss like uh, one reality show which is uh, uh, based on this camera and reality so in that big boss also the cameras were there and some one person who is watching from a hidden place we don't know whether he was uh, there or he was exist also so there is only voice command was there so uh, i want to say that big brother is also the same things like a big brother is one image who is uh, surveillance or who is watching everyone the phrase big brother is watching you tends to be associated with surveillance so this big brother is watching you is a very uh, um, critical uh, thing like uh, is it, it is also associated with the surveillance surveillance uh, propagandic and the belief necessary for proper, uh, panoptic surveillance as he entered the hallway of his apartment winston is confronted by a large colored poster feature the ruggedly ruggedly handsome face of a man of about 45 so uh, we know that uh, how the big Bo brother's face is looking like uh, he was ugly uh, or we can say that the ruggedly handsome face and a man of uh, 45 so uh, here is the saying that big brother is watching is uh, very uh, uh, connected with the surveillance so uh, this is a contemporary uh, example of surveillance uh, surveillance like the scandal of pegasus which is happened in uh, 2021 so Pegasus is a type of spyware created by the Israel Cyber Intelligence Company (NSO) uh, group. It is designed to infiltrate mobile phones and collect data, including messages, emails, photos, and also, as well as an activity, the microphones and camera to record conversational and conversions and the take pictures without the. users knowledge so in this uh, pegasus what happened is the israel government uh, uh, and so this group of uh, people who are the intelligence company and they uh, create one uh, spyware which is going in the phones or every electric gadgets which are there and in that they are uh, collecting the photos uh, mobile phones uh, mobile photos and this messages and emails and so data of the person like uh, if uh, he was a government person or anything anyone who is there uh, so scandal of pegasus is very important to not hear like uh, he uh, this uh, scandal is also very important for the surveillance like pegasus spyware scandal has freshened memory of the scary revelation made by edward snorr surrounding uh, mass surveillance of us citizen so this is made by israel and uh, because uh, for the us citizen so here uh, this uh, article 19 and 21 uh, in this article also says that the fundamental right so this is the uh, indian constitute like articles is based on indian constitute so in this article uh, fundamental rights or to privacy and lawful in this article also mentioned that you cannot uh, uh, 
go or you cannot access uh, something uh, private for uh, others like uh, you cannot uh, access from uh, without uh, his or her permission so uh, in this pegasus uh, it was doing the same thing like they are not even uh, uh, having the permission to access the things so here is one small video which is uh, ndtv's uh, interview so let's uh, see. It is not coming? No. Okay. Yes, but let me just do it again. So. I think there are some issues, so let's watch it. Uh, this video again. So, Supreme Court has said that it will order a pro panel into allegations of Pegasus hacking. The Chief Justice said a final order will be given next week when the Supreme Court actually puts together that panel. He said some people had declined for personal reasons. Ten days ago, in its hearing on the Pegasus spyware scandal, the Supreme Court had repeatedly pressed the government to file an affidavit explaining whether a government agency had authorized the use of Pegasus for interception. The government had refused, citing security reasons, and had said it is offering to set up a committee to probe the issue. Now there will be a committee, but set up by the court, not the government. The Chief Justice of India has said we wanted to pass an order before this week some members we considered declined to be part of the panel. There is a delay in orders as some members declined for personal reasons. We will try to pass an order next week. The court's decision comes on the basis of a petition filed by senior editors and public figures. One of them, former finance minister and Trinamool leader Yashwan Sinha told NDTV, I'm very happy with the decision of the Supreme Court. I hope that they will fulfill their duties and come to the right conclusion based on facts. Some say this is a setback to the center, which will have no say in the appointments of the members of this committee, but that the government will not have to file an affidavit. The center, which avoided a debate in parliament on the Pegasus controversy by calling it a non-serious issue and also refused to file an affidavit in the Supreme Court, will now finally have to give answers to a committee appointed by the top court. In New Delhi with camera person Sushil Rathi, this is Sukirti Dwedi for NDTV. So in this video also it is mentioned that uh, the government will not pass the affidavit or he will, uh, government will not uh, uh, do that affidavit into court. So court uh, themselves were uh, allowing to people that it is not a serious problem. So we can see that uh, in 1984 as well as uh, in this uh, today's time like government is not uh, caring about the people and their privacy uh, like uh, here is the uh, another link which i give in the uh, presentation is based on this topic ndtv.com and uh, in that you can see the some articles which is uh, based on this uh, uh, scandal the argument of i have nothing to hide is also problematic and hollows given the fact that a large number of people choose to self-censored in the face of increasing clampdown on dis uh, dissenting citizens. So surveillance leads to identification of dissenters which 
prompts measures such as banning of the social account, slapping of security legacy, such as the UP, uh, UAPA and the NSA without any legal basis. So this is also saying that I have nothing to hide is also very problematic. Like uh, uh, you are saying to so you saying to people who is spying over you, like you have nothing to hide, but they have uh, much information about you, then you have your information. So it is very problematic thing. The use of facial recognition technology to capture seditional charge against the NTCAA protect, uh, protester. So this is the article by uh, Shyam Sharma uh, uh, in the Times News. So uh, this is also his assumption like the new information technology uh, rule 2021 have also been flagged by the UN special uh, reporters for having serious implication on the right to freedom of expression and privacy by virtues of it. So uh, by surveillance, we don't have the freedom or we don't have this, uh, the a restriction of individual freedom is also there in surveillance like uh, you are constantly constantly being watched by one who is uh, even uh, you don't know about them like they are watching you they are doing uh, with your personal detail they are doing uh, whatever they want to do so this is very problematic thing or this is a very dangerous thing about your personal information and this is a spyware which is also uh, banned by now government so uh, next slide is technology in 1984 as we know that uh, 1984 uses the big telescreens and cctvs and little uh, microphones and all things are there in 1984 while the theoretical discussion of technology has an important role in the novel the mention of actual technologies is cursory at best usually being limited to one or two sentences the major technologies dealt with uh, are the telescreens, helicopters, the floating porteries, and construction of the ministry building. As we know, there, there are four ministries like uh, their, their buildings, the rocket bomb, atomic weapons, in, uh, instruments of interrogation, speak, uh, speak why, uh, rights and novel writing machines, uh, uh, verification, uh, fictional penumeter uh, tubes. Like also, we know that there are uh, so many machines in the room 101, and uh, another machines are also there. Uh, so these all are technologies which uh, George Orwell imagined in uh, his time. Each of these developments contributes to the basic picture which is drawn in the book. Like this is the uh, uh, picture like uh, uh, George Orwell also mentioned in uh, his novel. Uh, all his this technologies are used in uh, this novel. One could raise this and other questions about Orwell's vision. This would, however, only reformed the popularized mini, uh, ministry minis interpretation of his work, misinterpretation of his work. Like uh, if he used this popularized technology and all these things, so, so uh, one can misinterpret this work also. Now we do have computers. We do have better instruments for mind control also. We do have improve, uh, improved improved version of his weaponry. We do have artificial instruments. So all this now we also have this AI Jet GPT uh, be, because of this uh, Jet GPT there are so many dangerous things also happened uh, in today's time but we are not going there but uh, okay so let's uh, move to another side which is based on 1984 and the present. However, this is also by this uh, uh, man, Dugan Behel. However, independence of Orwell's claim, it must at least briefly be asked whether or not his vision of society might, might yet be com uh, compli uh, completed with the technology. Uh, ultimately, unrest among those excluded from the position of power will uh, result in the overthrow of the existing social structure. So now we have social media and all other uh, artificial technology and more uh, improvised technology so the danger will be uh, increased in the uh, in the comparison of that time 
so i uh, uh, we are uh, we are screening this uh, documentary which is uh, the social dilemma which is uh, also uh, uh, talking about this the same thing like social media and all these things so the social dilemma is a 2020 american docu uh, docu drama film directed by uh, jeff Orowski and written by Orowski, David Combe and Vicky Curtains. The documentary examines how social media's design nurtures addiction to maximize profit and its ability to manipulate people's views, emotions and behavior and spread conspiracy theories and disinformation. The film also examin uh, examines uh, social media's effect on mental health, in particularly the mental health of uh, adol uh, adolescents and uh, rising teen uh, suicide rates. All also, this uh, social media uh, is doing some things like uh, teenagers' uh, suicide might be raised uh, according to this uh, social media and social dilemmas. The film features interviews with many former employees of social media companies along with academic researchers so if you are interested then you can go to netflix and you can watch this documentary which is very good in quality and you can understand how social media is manipulate the people or teenager who is also uh, innocence and they don't know about this all things so uh, the film also examines how uh, social media platforms have impacted the spread of fake news and how governments have used social media as a tool of propaganda. We all know that now uh, this social media is a tool of propaganda for governments also. The, these interviews are presented alongside scripted dramatizes of a teenager's social media addiction. Uh, this dramatizes uh, draws uh, attention to the rising concerns of the uh, ridiculized of youth on the interviews. So this is a, a very uh, problematic thing like uh, teenagers are not aware about these things and social media are, uh, so, social media is manipulating the, the, them. So it is very problematic thing. Uh, these are work cited. Thank you. Now you have any question then you can ask me. In what ways the government in 1984 used surveillance to maintain control over citizens? Uh, yes, uh, in 1984, government like Big Brother is watching you. They use this telescreen, and uh, as I also mentioned again uh, earlier in my presentation, that uh, this uh, telescreens, helicopters, and all these technologies were used in the novel to surveillance the people and the uh, uh, normal people who are living there, and they all are controlled by the government, like uh, uh, how they uh, get up earlier and uh, what they do what they eat what they uh, like all uh, whole his day are uh, mentioned in the novel like uh, uh, time to uh, bed and time to go to bed and like from earlier uh, waking up to the go to bed uh, sleep like uh, this is the all uh, things are there like uh, you have to wake up you have to do exercise you have to do eat you have to eat like these all things are mentioned in the novel so this is the surveillance and uh, mentioned in the novel also and mental um, uh, mind control were also there in this novel so this is my answer Rusty, my question is, how do you see the dangers of uh, surveillance in the present time? Yes, uh, like uh, I talk about this uh, documentary, which is based on social media and uh, uh, the social dilemma. In this documentary also, they mentioned that in present time, uh, the people were not aware about the technology and danger of technology. They are putting 
uh, their private things on the social media like they are not even caring about their own personal things so this is very dangerous thing in the present time so i want to say uh, if you are using social media you have to use in a, that mindset like uh, this is very dangerous thing and uh, if you are not controlled uh, over your uh, social media things you have to be pay for these things so i want to say this only thank you